Spoken Hymns and Readings for the Easter Vigil. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Anne Fletcher. Tasha Mapes. Maria James. Alan Mapstone. Kim Lamb. Craig Campbell. Marianne. M. Lee. Vincent Wayne. Naha. Rick Lawrence. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, he hath burst his bonds in twain. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, hallelujah, swell the strain. For our gain he suffered loss by divine decree. He hath died upon the cross, but our God is he. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, he hath burst his bonds in twain. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, hallelujah, swell the strain. Amen. See the chains of death are broken, earth below and heaven above. Joy in each amazing token of his rising Lord of love. He forevermore shall reign by the Father's side. Till he comes to earth again, comes to claim his bride. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, he hath burst his bonds in twain. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, hallelujah, swell the strain. Glorious angels downward thronging, hail the Lord of all the skies. Heaven with joy and holy longing for the world incarnate cries. Christ is risen, earth rejoice, gleamy starry train. All creation find a voice, he or all shall reign. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, he hath burst his bonds in twain. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, o'er the universe to reign. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree-yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, 
it was very good. The Word of the Lord. Psalm 33. The response is, The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Response. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathereth the waters of the sea together as an heap. He layeth up the depth in storehouses. Response. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looketh from heaven, he beholdeth all the sons of men. Response. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our hearts shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we hope in thee. Response. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the book of Genesis. And it came to pass, after these things, that God did tempt Abraham, and said unto him, Abraham. And he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And they came to the place which God had told him of, and Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son, and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. The word of the Lord. Psalm 16, verses 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup thou maintainest my lot. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup, thou maintainest my lot. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures for evermore. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. A reading from the book of Exodus. 
And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thine hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them. And the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And it was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these, so that the one came not near the other all the night. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them, on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians, through the pillar of fire and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians, and took off their chariot wheels, that they drave them heavily, so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it. And the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel the song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he hath thrown into the sea. The word of the Lord. I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he is become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him in habitation. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The Lord is a man of war, the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The deaths have covered them, they sank into the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, hath dashed in pieces the enemy. I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. Thou shalt bring them in, and plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance. In the place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in. In the sanctuary, O Lord, which thy hands have established. The Lord shall reign for ever and ever. I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. 
know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into jesus christ were baptized into his death therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death that like as christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the father even so we also should walk in newness of life for if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection knowing this that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed that henceforth we should not serve sin for he that is dead is freed from sin now if we be dead with christ we believe that we shall also live with him knowing that christ being raised from the dead dieth no more death hath no more dominion over him for in that he died he died unto sin once but in that he liveth he liveth unto god the word of the lord psalm 118 the response is alleluia 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 O give thanks unto the lord for he is good because his mercy endureth for ever let israel now say that his mercy endureth for ever. Response. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Response. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Response. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 7. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome, had bought sweet spices, that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way. Tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, as he said unto you. The Gospel of the Lord Christ the Lord is risen today. Christ the Lord is risen today, Son of men and angels say. Raise your joys and triumphs high, Sing ye heavens and earth reply. Love's redeeming work is done, fought the fight, the battle won. Lo, our sun's eclipse is o'er, lo, he sets in blood no more. Vain the stone, the watch, the seal, Christ hath burst the gates of hell. Death in vain forbids his rise, Christ hath opened paradise. Lives again our glorious King, where, O death, is now thy sting? Once he died our souls to save. Where's thy victory, boasting grave? Soar we now where Christ has led, following our exalted head. Made like him, like him we rise. Ours the cross, the grave, the skies. End of Spoken Hymns and Readings for the Easter Vigil